Are you ready for some shocking news? It turns out that new cars are not only bad for the environment, but they're also going to destroy the economy. Yes, you heard that right. In this video, we'll dive deep into why the future of the automotive industry might not be as bright as we once thought, and why new cars could be the reason why. So buckle up and get ready for a wild ride. New car prices are rising in the US, according to Kelly Blue Book's latest report, the average purchase price is creeping toward $50,000. And that's not of all, according to Experian, the average monthly car payment is now over $716. With more and more people relying on auto loans to finance their vehicles, the national auto debt has reached a staggering $1.52 trillion. It's no wonder that many experts are warning that this trend is unsustainable and could lead to disastrous consequences for the economy. Now let's take a closer look at the problems with new cars and why they could spell trouble for the future of our economy. Reason number one, the rise of electric cars. The rise of electric cars has been a topic of debate in recent years. While some people see this as a positive step towards a cleaner and more sustainable future, others argue that it could have a negative impact on the global economy. One of the key concerns is the potential impact on the oil industry. As electric cars become more popular, the demand for gasoline-powered cars is declining. This in turn could cause a significant decrease in revenue for the oil industry. The oil industry is a major player in many economies, and any major changes to its revenue could potentially impact a range of industries. For example, the transportation industry heavily relies on gasoline and other petroleum-based products to power its vehicles. If the demand for gasoline decreases, this could lead to a decrease in demand for transportation services, which could impact jobs and economic growth. In addition, many other industries rely on petroleum-based products for manufacturing and production. If the oil industry were to experience a significant decline in revenue, this could have a ripple effect on the entire economy. However, it's important to note that the rise of electric cars could also create new opportunities for economic growth. For example, a shift towards electric cars could create new jobs in the manufacturing and maintenance of electric vehicles, as well as in the development of new technologies and infrastructure to support them. Ultimately, it's unclear how the rise of electric cars will impact the global economy in the long term, but it's certainly a trend that's worth paying attention to. Number two, increased cost of new cars. One of the main factors behind the rising cost of new cars is the constant advancements in technology and safety features. With each new model year, car manufacturers are integrating more advanced technologies and safety features to improve the overall driving experience and reduce the risk of accidents. These advancements require additional research, development, and testing, which ultimately results in higher production costs that are passed onto the consumers. As a consequence of these rising costs, consumers are increasingly holding onto their cars for longer periods of time, which could lead to a decline in demand for new cars. This decline in demand could then lead to a slowdown in the automobile industry, which is a significant contributor to many economies. The automobile industry supports many jobs in manufacturing, sales, and maintenance, as well as a vast supply chain of businesses that provide parts and services to the industry. Furthermore, if the automobile industry experiences a slowdown, it could have a ripple effect throughout the broader economy. This could result in reduced consumer spending, decreased economic growth, and even a potential recession. Number three, impact on employment. The rise of new cars and the advancements in technology that come with them are putting many jobs in the automobile industry at risk of becoming obsolete. With the increasing automation of manufacturing processes, many jobs that were previously done by humans are now being done by machines. For example, automated assembly lines are becoming more common in car manufacturing, which reduces the need for manual labor. Similarly, advancements in technology are also leading to the development of self-driving cars. While these cars are not yet widely available, they have the potential to significantly reduce the need for human drivers, which could result in job losses for millions of drivers. The impact of these changes on employment is significant, as the automobile industry is a major employer in many countries. In the US alone, the automobile industry employs over 1.7 million people, and millions more work in related industries such as parts manufacturing, sales, and maintenance. If these jobs become obsolete, it could lead to a decline in employment opportunities, which could have a ripple effect on the economy. However, it is important to note that advancements in technology can also create new jobs in the automobile industry. For example, the development of electric cars and associated infrastructure requires skilled workers in areas such as battery manufacturing, charging station installation, and software development. In conclusion, the rise of new cars and advancements in technology could have a significant impact on employment in the automobile industry. While automation and self-driving cars may lead to job losses, there is also the potential for the creation of new jobs in areas such as electric cars and associated infrastructure. And before we continue, let's give a quick shout out to today's sponsor. 
If you're looking to level up your skills and take your creativity to the next level, look no further than Skillshare. Skillshare is an amazing platform that offers a plethora of online courses taught by experts in their field. Whether you want to master a new creative skill like graphic design or photography, or sharpen your business acumen with courses on entrepreneurship and marketing, Skillshare has got you covered. The best part? With Skillshare's easy-to-use platform, you can learn at your own pace and on your own schedule. Plus, the courses are all taught by real-world practitioners, so you know you're getting expert knowledge that you can apply in your own life and work. And here's the cherry on top, if you click the link in the description, you'll get a full month of Skillshare for free. That's right, a whole month to explore the platform, dive into courses, and start homing your skills. So what are you waiting for? Click that link and start your learning journey with Skillshare today. Trust us, you won't regret it. By the way, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it so far. All right, let's continue. Number four, government intervention. As we have already discussed in previous reasons, the rise of new cars and the associated changes in the automobile industry could have a significant impact on the economy. With the increasing cost of new cars, the potential job losses due to automation, and the decline in demand for traditional gasoline-powered cars, there is a risk that the economy could suffer. To mitigate this impact, the government may need to intervene. One possible way to do this is by providing incentives for consumers to purchase new cars. For example, the government could offer tax credits or rebates for people who buy electric cars or other types of new cars. This could help to stimulate demand for new cars and support the automobile industry. Another way that the government could intervene is by investing in new industries that are likely to emerge as a result of the shift towards new cars. For example, the development of electric cars and associated infrastructure could create new opportunities for workers in areas such as battery manufacturing, charging station installation, and software development. By investing in these industries, the government could help to create new jobs and support economic growth. Finally, the government could also consider retraining workers who are at risk of losing their jobs due to automation. This could involve providing training programs and financial support to help workers transition to new industries and careers. By doing so, the government could help to minimize the impact of job losses and support economic stability. So overall, the rise of new cars and the associated changes in the automobile industry could have a significant impact on the economy. To mitigate this impact, the government may need to intervene by providing incentives for consumers to purchase new cars, investing in new industries, and retraining workers. In conclusion, we have explored the four key reasons why new cars are going to destroy the economy. From the increased cost of new cars to the potential job losses and the need for government intervention, it is clear that the rise of new cars is a significant economic concern that could have far-reaching implications. However, it is not all doom and gloom. There are opportunities for businesses and individuals to adapt to these changes and take advantage of emerging trends. By investing in new technologies, retraining workers, and embracing new opportunities, we can help to mitigate the negative impacts of the rise of new cars and create a more sustainable and prosperous economy. It is crucial for governments and businesses to work together to prepare for these changes and ensure that we are ready for the new economic landscape that is emerging. We hope that this video has provided you with valuable insights and information on this important topic. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos on current events and economic trends. Stay informed and stay ahead of the curve.